Hi guys, so we are on week three of this pantry challenge and I will show you what I bought today. I did not, I was trying to go like, cause last week I went over by $10 of my $50 budget. So today I was trying to go under, but at the same time I needed to get what I needed to get. So I did not go under, well I went under by a couple dollars. So I spent $47.26 on what we have here. So. I got some bananas, which wasn't many at all. Small pile of bananas, two baby carrots, some avocados, and some peppers. And I bought the drumsticks. So the drumsticks I'm going to cook up for my husband. It was a lot cheaper than buying um, like lunch meat or something for his lunches. So I just grabbed the drum drumsticks. So I'll put three or four in a pack for each day for his lunch. And then I'll also put like carrot sticks or the um, or peppers. And I'm going to make some hummus. So I'll put those in with hummus for his lunch and then see what else I have for lunch. I think I have some pickled eggs. Um, I don't know. I'll see what else I have in the cabinet to throw in with his lunch, but he needs things that he can like grab and drive at the same time. So chicken legs are okay. Sometimes I'll wrap up. I mean, a sandwich is ideal, but we're trying not to do so much bread. So I'll wrap up like lunch meat and, um, but that's really expensive. So I didn't, so I decided to do drumsticks. So basically the drumsticks, carrot sticks, and this, this is my husband's. And then we have a thing of spring mix, two creamers, and then I got two grass-fed organic milks. Um, we don't have, our cow is not in milk right now. And the odd thing is, is I'm trying to get my baby, um, who is nine months old now, I've been trying to get her to take a bottle of formula just off and off off and on for various reasons. One of those reasons is when we're driving, um, just for her to be able to have something while we're driving to get us to the next destination without having to stop because she is nine months old now and it would really be helpful. Um, also, we're planning on going on the trip and that takes, um, that's going to take a long time. So I'd like for her to be able to do that if at all possible. Um, the weird thing was, is the other day, my two-year-old gets a bottle at nighttime just before bed. She has a bottle of milk. And the other night she took the baby's bottle of milk and started, I mean, started taking my two-year-old, my baby who is nine months old, started taking, took my two-year-old's bottle and started drinking it of milk, cold milk. Now she, she would not touch formula at all. No warm formula, no cold formula, nothing. She got the milk and she drank like an ounce. Since then, We've tried to give her a little bit of milk in a bottle and she'll take that. She's only getting maybe like an ounce a day. It's not all that much. It's not all that much, but I felt like I really needed to get the better quality milk. Normally we have our own raw um, grass fed organic milk here, but both of our cows right now are dried off. So how much do you think a half a gallon of milk is? Six dollars and ninety eight cents. So twelve dollars for a gallon of milk. So that's what we got. That's all. That's all she wrote. That was in my fifty dollar grocery budget. Um, my grocery budget is just including food. I'll show you what else I got. I only got a couple things. Um, I got juice boxes. I did not count those in my budget because those are actually not for our household. We serve, we like to serve other people um, in different ways and whatever. So if opportunities arise. I also had bought some peanuts for something else, which was really cool that um, somebody is doing a ministry to help um, like just to bless tow truck, truck drivers. And I, that is so awesome. I mean, just thinking of, all these different people that serve us, our community members that serve us, is just awesome. Anyhow, um, we bought some various other things that I did not include in this grocery haul. One was juice boxes and um, animal crackers for the library. And then I bought a bunch of peanuts for 
that. And then I bought um, these juice boxes here, which I'm not quite sure if I'm going to bring these to the library next week or if I'm going to possibly bring them to church. I'm not quite sure. I don't even know. But I know that people are always looking for juice boxes. So if we're going to go to any event, I like to bring a thing of juice boxes. So those will go for that. Okay. So my little girl has decided that she wants to try and go on the potty and she has gone poop on the potty quite a few times this week. And she's been like going in the grocery stores and stuff, which is really unheard of. I don't like potty training until they're at least three and she is two. Let's see. She was two in October. So anyhow, we got a big old case of pull-ups because it's such a pain to try to like put the diaper back on while they're standing. Anyway, found some clearance items. I got these on clearance for, let's see, baby. And then my two-year-old. And then my five-year-old have those. And then I got four. My, those were um four dollars each. And then I got these are twisted. These for the summer, which I'll put up for the summer. They're just nightgowns. Um, so this would be for my six-year-old and my eight-year-old and my 11-year-old. So all the little girls, six little girls, um, those jammies I will put up for like springtime. Um, that was it from there. Let's see. We got, we went to the thrift store as well. If you're a local, the thrift store in Baileyville has fill a bag for $3. So I got some things there. I got these. I thought these were super cute. Tag still on them. Still so cute, aren't they? Um, I usually don't put shoes on my babies. Um, but I bought those thinking that if we were going to be going somewhere, she's starting to like pull up on her feet now, but I like that they're nice and soft. Um, she's, but she's starting to, um, pull up on her feet now. So I try to get something. So if we're someplace, then she would be like standing on something. Anyway, I don't know if it'll work or not. And then just a little snuggly. And I got myself some shirts just t-shirts. I have actually, I have, I was looking the other day and I have seven shirts and of those seven shirts, three of those are kind of like gardening shirts. Like they have sayings on them that are actually like say something about gardening or canning. And then another shirt is like a Christmas shirt. <laughs> so I figured, so that was four out of the seven actually have sayings that aren't really like appropriate to this time of year. So I ended up just buying a couple shirts in the fill a bag. I don't know. I kind of like this here and it would be easier to nurse in if I was wearing like something underneath it. I have to see because I really, I'm kind of like one of those people that you put on these fabrics and it's like, if the fabric feels weird, then I can't wear it. But for fill a bag, I figured I'd give it a try. And then... I don't know, just another t-shirt, a couple different t-shirts. Couldn't tell how they would fit me. And then I got this sweater. Okay. So the real reason I got this sweater is for these. So yesterday we went to the city and I got a couple things at the thrift store. So what I'm trying to do, we've made all the dresses for Colonial Williamsburg. And now I'm trying to get the boys costumes for Colonial Williamsburg. And I thought these buttons were really cool. So there's six of them all together. So I don't know if I'm actually going to use these or not, but I was like, Ooh, I like those. So anyway, that's why I got that. And that still has tags on it. Ooh, and it has an extra button. Okay. And then just a blue, we actually, all the kids had a blue um, t-shirt and I didn't have a blue t-shirt. So I grabbed a blue t-shirt and my husband had a blue t-shirt and I was the only one without a blue t-shirt. Um, some of you know that 
a lot of times when we go out places, I end up wanting like everyone to be in the same color so that, um, depends where we're at, but I like to know what my kids have on for two reasons. One, um, a lot of times I'll have them wear red. So if they're wearing red or like a bright color, then I can see them from far, from far off. If we're in like a different, um, place where I would need to see them from far off. This is a um, long sleeve shirt. I just said I didn't have a blue shirt, but this is long sleeves and <clears throat> I wanted a um, short sleeve shirt. Um, so I would wear, they would wear red. But also <coughs> I always have this, I don't want to say this fear, but I always think like if my child ever got lost or something like that, would I remember like what that child was wearing this, that day? I know that sounds so stupid. But then I'd know what they were actually wearing that day. And people would could hopefully easily. And also, like, if you're going into, um, if you're going, say you're walking together. This happens a lot with large families. Is if you're walking together, sometimes lots of people try to, like, cut you off here and there. But if they see, oh, look, that family looks like they belong together because they're all wearing the same type of clothing or shirts or whatever then people tend not to cut those people off because they know that we're all grouped together. And I started doing this years ago, um, especially having some, a son in a wheelchair. Okay. Especially having a son in the wheelchair, I um, we would get cut off because we were such a large group. So anyhow, t-shirts, trying to get everyone colors together and that type of stuff. So that was my grocery haul for the week. I'll be honest. I wanted to buy a whole bunch more stuff because I just was hungry when I was at the store and I wanted to buy like tons of fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's just like who I am. I love to get fresh fruits and vegetables, but in all honesty, like I need to use what's up. So I'm going to try to make this week. I noticed I didn't buy any eggs because I want to use those water glass eggs. So I'm thinking tomorrow that I'm going to make a bunch of different batches of quick breads to make into muffins and quick breads for us for this week. So um, I will try to get a video up with that for probably tomorrow. We'll probably do that. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.